Here in Hollywood, I'm Angela Oldani on today's The Guest List. Pair with my fabulous friend, Yotam Solomon. He is the youngest designer ever to be shown in LA Fashion Week here in this age-obsessed town. What a pleasure to have you. Pleasure to be here. Thank you very much, Angela. You are the made-to-measure king, I understand. Tell us what made-to-measure means. Made-to-measure means that a, a garment is specifically made for a person's body for their exact shape. Okay, so this is what, what's that other word for it? Uh, bespoke. It's like bespoke? Bespoke, made same to measure. Idea? Um, yes, definitely same idea. Another fashion term you threw out at me at the pre-interview was predictives. Predictive. What, what is predictives? Predictives means um, what will be in the next collection, what would be trendy, what would be the things that people would want the most to uh, have. And how does one arrive at predictives? Well, one arrives them through the knowledge of uh, fashion cycles or um, having the ability to be a bit clairvoyant <gasps> and know what's going to be next. I didn't know that you were a clairvoyant. You didn't tell me that. I haven't. Okay, so let's talk about your background just a little bit. Yes. You grew up in several places. You grew up in Haifa, Israel. Yes. You grew up in Vienna, Austria, and also here in L.A. Tell me the differences in each place, very different places. It is very different. Israel is a very wonderful place, and um, we do have some issues in the Middle East, as everybody knows. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. Mm. Same to go for Vienna, although different culture. Um, Israel, Vienna, and L.A. all have completely different cultures, especially because they had the peak in different times of, you know, in, in the world. And so LA for me was, I think, the best choice to move out here, especially because it's such a good weather and everybody's so nice. They are nice here. They're so kind, especially the drivers. Yes. You know. <laughs> now tell us about, do you pronounce it FIDM? FIDM? FIDM. FIDM, which is? Fashion, Fashion Institute, Institute of Design, Design and Merchandising. And it's here in LA. Yes. A lot of people probably don't know that. And you graduated from there. And what do I have here? You were, uh, two weeks after graduating, you got? I received a position as a head pattern maker for a new men's line. That, that was head pattern maker. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that sexy accent, you know. And uh, that's unusual, right, at such a young age to score a plum position like that. It is and it's not. It's you not? So you're not so unusual? Maybe a little bit. A little? Yes, okay. a little. Okay. So tell us about the pattern making process. Pattern making uh, is a very intricate process. It's um, the structure of the garment. It's what happens before you sew it up, before you pick the fabric. It's really the far front and the beginning of a garment. It's the architecture, if you will, of a garment. Exactly. And why don't you tell our wonderful, wonderful people out there about your, your love for architecture and your background uh, of your drawing and, and how you got into, actually, avant-garde fashion design. Well, um, at the very good beginning would be um, my interest in architectural building and construction. As a young kid, I would always be very interested in what is exactly is involved in building a building, what's behind it, how do you get to have a structural done. And I do believe that architecture and fashion is very much combined, and there's a lot of similarities, and one affects the other one. And so there's music. There's a lot of similarities in the world of arts. And um, it's really great to have some background in all of those um, wonderful genres. And I do believe that really affects my ability to design. Well, do you have any musical background? Like, I don't know. I do. What's that? Were you in the Haifa Philharmonic, perchance? Yes. At the tender young age of what, 14? Yes. I don't believe it. And you played? Violin and, and viola. Was it the big one? That's the no. big one here. The big one's the big one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so both of those. Wow. And that's, that's quite a distinction, too, at such a young age. How did you score all these things? I didn't sleep much. I think you were born at 40. Maybe, perhaps. I had okay. that before. Okay, so that's possible. I've, I've met types like you before. Okay, so we've discussed your path to your fashion designing because of your attraction to architecture and the drawing, right? Mm -hmm. And sketching buildings and you're playing your classical music. Okay, so tell me one thing. Besides me, who is your dream client? My dream client? Well, 
there's quite a few of them. I would very love to dress Meryl Streep. But mostly me. Mostly you. Yeah. You and Madonna. And Meryl Streep could use a little help, I mean, in the dressing department. Well, she's a very fabulous woman. She's a fabulous woman, but she, I don't think she has any friends or mirrors. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. But we want to we dress her. And who is the other one? Madonna. Oh, and Madonna. Shirley What's Therm her name? Oh, yeah, Madonna. I've heard of her. Yeah, good. That'd she's be, pretty great, too. She'd look great in your stuff. Thank you. She would. She would. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've got a good one for you. Who's the best dressed woman besides me? The best dressed woman. In the world. In the world. In your world. In my world. In your well, world. I have to give Anne Winter some credit, but she does get uh, a lot of help. She's got a lot of help, I know. It's she not, does. That's not fair. That is not fair. Let's not count her. Let's not count her. Well, You're just saying that because you want her to, to have your Tom Solomon in, in vogue someday, which she will. And she will wear it. We hope so. Uh, she will. Yeah. And she'll remember this interview. She will. She will. <laughs> we'll make her. We'll, we'll show it to her. And we, we're going to send it to her tomorrow. Okay, so who else besides me and what's her name? Anna Wintour? I think um, Shirley Thun is definitely winning. Oh, I suppose. You had to it's throw one, of, one homely one in there, I guess. All right. So did we discuss the made to measure? We did. Yes. All right, so we did that question. Uh, tell me about the best advice you've ever received. Stick it up. Stick it up. It's very I'm a hard. lady. Don't talk to me that way. What I are you talking not. about? I got that advice. I'm not giving it to you. Stick it up. What is this? Stick, stick it up? Stick it up. No, stick it up means stick with it. Do not give up. Keep going as much as you can. It's a tough business. Oh, stick with it. Okay. Stick up. Do I hear the pitter patter of a little model's feet? Perhaps. I hear a little model. Oh my God, here she comes. This woman is fabulous. We've got the fabulous and gorgeous Benita, and she's going to model the first of several outfits by Yotam Solomon. Here we have a seashell embellished trapeze cocktail dress with elephant sleeves, with fine contrast between a cotton pique and silk charmeuse. Should I tell them the price? If you would like. Six fifty. Oh, and she's also wearing the fabulous shoes. The silk satin and leather ankle six inch strap pump with cage strap globe. Wow. Pretty special. Okay, stop showing off, Benita. Thank you. All right. She'll be back in a minute with another outfit for us.